Alright, so yep, this is going to be part 2 of the 13 initial interview questions and answers plus tips at Alorica dedicated for newbies as well as veterans. So, if you haven't watched um, part 1 where I answered questions 1 to 5, then I'll put the link of that video in the description box down below. And so yes, if you are an applicant at Alorica or you wanted to switch from your current company to Alorica, then I highly recommend for you to watch this video until the end. And so yes, let's begin. Alright, so yep, let's dive right into question number 6. And the question is, if there would be a zombie apocalypse, what weapon will you pick and why? So, of course, I'll give you tips to nail this question. So, the first one that you should do is, yes, I just want to let you know that this question is asked to test your decision-making skills as well as your creativity. So, there's no such thing as right or wrong answer here, but make sure to answer this question in a professional way so if you've watched part one of this video uh, you'll be able to see that the don'ts are just the same all right don't speak in vernacular avoid fillers don't be overconfident avoid nervousness and don't look panicky all right now i'll give you a sample answer which is by the way inspired from the previous answer um, I made in this kind of question way back 2020. So this is that sample answer. If there would be a zombie apocalypse, I'd choose faith, courage, and presence of mind as my strongest swords against those life-threatening enemies. Of course, you can change this out if you you were able to think of a good answer or a better answer than this one, then feel free to do so. Alright? Now, question number seven is, if you will be given a chance to be an animal, why wouldn't you choose to be a monkey? So, when I first read this question, I actually laughed, but I hope you wouldn't. So, yeah, um, here are my tips to nail this question. So, yep, my tip is don't laugh at this question in case, just like what I did when I first hear this. Now, the second one is pick at least one or two negative characteristics of a monkey to prove your point and then mention the animal of your choice and relate its character to your character and to the job you're applying for. Alright, so it's just the same down, so I won't um, focus on that. But I'll share with you the sample answer, which is also inspired from the previous video I made two years ago. Alright, so this is it. If given the chance to be an animal, I'd choose being an ant rather than a monkey. But I, I'm not quite sure if ant is an animal, but is it? Correct me if I'm wrong. The reason for that is because a monkey can be intelligent. But it can also be treacherous and deceptive, which is not a good fit when working in a team. On the other hand, the ant may be or may seem tiny. However, it is hardworking, committed in working as a team, and achieves better results after putting in a lot of efforts. Behavior as such, I believe, is a must-have in a working environment. Right, so yes, it's a li little lengthy, but that's fine. You can create your own answer if you wanted to trim it a little bit. Now, question number eight is, if you will be stuck in an island, what are the three things you will bring with you and why? I actually made a full video about explaining um, how you can nail this part. So yeah, I'll just put the link of that video in the description box down below. But my, my tips on here are also inspired by that particular video. So remember not to mention things related to electronics as well as technology. That is a red flag because you know for yourself that there's no electricity in an island. Okay? So let's just assume that is like the setup. 
So yep, uh, this question tests how creative you can be in critical situations, which is by the way crucial when working in a company. Now here's my answer or sample answer to that question. If I will be stuck in an island, the three things that I will be bringing with me are knife, fishing net, and matches. The reason for that is because I believe these three things are essential for my survival in that island. I can use knife in looking for food. It can also serve as my protection in terms of danger. Same goes with fishing net that I can use in catching fresh food or fresh fish for my food. Most importantly, I can use match match and lighting up a fire that I can use in cooking food. It can also be used to keep me warm at night. Alright, so yeah, that's how you answer it. By the way, matching is just typo. Pardon about that. Alright, number 9 is if you will be a president for your day, what policy will you implement? This will be like a beauty type of question or beauty pageant type of question but um, essentially what you have to do is to imagine yourself in a position of a leader. Think of how you can lead your people. So this question is asked to see if you have potential or capability to not just work in a team, but to lead a team someday as well. Okay, so yeah, um, here is my sample answer for you for that question. So if I will be appointed as a president for a day, I will implement unity among my people. I firmly believe that when everyone are aligned to work and achieve a specific goal, it can be accomplished if everyone knows what to do and how to do it. If my people know what I want them to do and why I want them to do so, they'll surely abide it. So that's just my way of thinking. If you have another answer that you think is better than this, then you can surely create that or do that, all right? Now, question number 10 is, how does social media such as Facebook impacts your life? I believe I also created a sample answer about this, but um, I'll create one for you. Another one. So yes, the don'ts are the do's is that we have to know that social media is a great platform when used properly. So you have to mention positive impacts social media such as Facebook gives you. Okay, do not mention the negative side of social media. So be careful on what you post or share as some potential employers of yours would research your social media accounts before hiring you. So yeah, there are indeed companies who does that. So be careful what you post, especially if you're applying for a job. Alright, now let's proceed to my sample answer to that question. So yep, social media such as Facebook impacts me in a positive way as I use it to reconnect with my loved ones from afar. I get to learn from different people from all over the world because almost everything are available online and it also allows me to express myself by allowing me to post my favorite photos of myself, my family members, and colleagues. Right, so you can answer that question this way. Now, question number 11 is this. What is the most important thing on earth for you and why? So, here are my tips to nail this question. So, this question tests your values as a person, what you believe in. So, there's no such thing as right or wrong answer. So, pick an answer that's aligned to what you strongly believe in. Just make sure it is delivered in a positive way and somehow related to job you're aiming to work for because remember this is still a job interview question it looks like it isn't but you know your answer should still be aligned with the job you're trying to enter all right now here is my sample answer for me the most important thing on earth is my existence as well as the existence of my loved ones along with the job I am aiming to get. I believe that the main purpose of my existence is to help my family, other people, and be a good employee. <laughs> Alright, so I think, yeah, that's the most important thing, right? I 
would say but that's just my opinion you can create your own opinion or your own answer now question number 12 is what is your favorite food and tell me how to cook it so i don't know how to cook but uh, yeah i'll still try to answer this question so this question actually tests how accurate and detailed you are as a person so in a workplace traits like this are important or these actually this is essential in customer service since part of your job is to walk a customer through a certain process among others right that's why you're asking why is it that this question is asked to me this is actually somehow related to what you are about to do once you're hired okay now here's my sample answer for that this is like pretty simple so newly cooked rice and fried fresh Fish is a meal that never gets out of taste for me. So, in frying a fish, we have to first clean the fish and savor it with tasteful ingredients such as salt, a little black pepper, as I love it with a little spice and a pinch of additives for more flavorful taste. Then, prepare your well cleaned pan, open your stove in medium fire, put the oil and wait until it's hot. Fry the fish until golden brown. And yes, I also love fried fish served with sauce. Okay, so yeah, that's just how I will answer this question if I'll be asked by this kind of question. Now, last question would be question number 13. Tell me how you did... Hmm? How you did you get your way here oh tell me how you get your way here in the our office from your house so this is um th these are the tips i have for you so this is another question as to test how detailed you are as a person it takes a little lengthy explanation before you get this answered and in a and in customer service world there's there are customers who want answers as detailed as possible. That's why, you know, you kind of have to, uh, you know, answer this kind of question. So just answer this, but in a more accurate way. All right. So here's my sample answer for that matter. So I live near this office. So usually it will only take me 20 to 25 minutes to be here. From my house, I have to walk about 5 minutes to wait for a jeepney ride. Waiting for a jeepney to arrive may take about 5 to 10 minutes depending on how late at night it already is and how is the weather that day. As soon as the jeepney arrives, I'll sit comfortably about 8 to 10 minutes. Then the drop-off point is in front, in front of Munoz Market. So I only have to walk about 5 minutes and it's already Panorama 1. So yeah, that is it you guys. I hope you learned something from this video and I hope to see you in my next one. See you again next time. Bye!